Welcome back to Fox 43 AM Live. Join us now is Lavelle Jackson with 785 Kitchen. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Oh my gosh, it smells <laughs> so good. Yes. yes, it does. Thank you so much for bringing some food. With no problem, today. no problem. Uh, oh, well, I want to chat about 785 Kitchen now. Like, you were coming in here. We have coffee up front was like, they're so good yes. and I, I've, I've not had a chance to to try yours yet so I'm very excited that you come yes, here today for sure, for sure. Uh, so to start now just what inspired you to start 785 kitchen um, honestly I always wanted to start like a small business where I'm, I'm like the chef and stuff mm -hmm. like that and I'm cooking for everybody in my community so once I got the opportunity after school and stuff like that I was like let me jump into it while I'm young you know if it doesn't work out you know I could flow to something else but definitely you know it's working out right now so I'm gonna keep it going keep it pushing as much as I can so yeah so it's always been my love and dream, like pretty much to cook for everybody. My mom and my grandma was like big inspirations for me when I was growing up and stuff like that. So I wanted to put out their food and stuff like that for everybody else too as well. Is that who you learned cooking from? Oh yeah, for sure. Okay. My mom and my grandma, yeah, they taught me everything. Well, my whole family in general, but you know, mostly yeah, my mom and my grandma, they taught me a lot of things for sure. So yes. When did you start cooking? How old were you? Like actually knowing what I was doing, I honestly would say probably like sixth grade. Like I was actually cooking bacon cakes and stuff like that oh, in the right. kitchen. Yeah, in the kitchen cooking like, you know, eggs and stuff like that. Simple things, flipping like hamburgers and stuff like that too as well. So it started simple, but you know, worked up to the more in, like cuisine type of stuff too as well. So yes. That's the way you gotta do that's it. Amazing. Yeah, that's yes. so cool. So what have you brought for us today here? Yeah, so today we do have oxtails. So okay. oxtails mm. is beef. If you guys don't know what type of meat it is, um, we do have the oxtails on a bit of a uh, rice right here mm -hmm. and mashed potatoes as well cabbage and cornbread Ooh, um gosh. they're nice and tender a lot of people are scared of the word oxtails but it, it, it is a little intimidating. yeah yes. like real oxtails <laughs> yes. of course so. i'm over here saying i'll eat ta uh, cricket tacos yes so. sir, <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, that's funny yes but oxtails is literally just beef um it tastes like honestly like beef pot roast it just has a bone in the middle mm -hmm. of it if you think of it so i try to keep it general and simple like that tastes like beef pot roast with a bone in the middle of it so eat it with mashed potatoes or rice and it tastes so good and so delicious nice and it's and like tender. good with like it's like uh, jamaican cuisine yes right? yes yes okay. it's definitely like a like a uh, island cuisine yeah, for sure yes okay. for sure yes oh man so is oxtail on is, that, is the oxtail a special for you yes okay. so oxtails are only on fridays when you come into the kitchen they do sell out pretty quick so if you can get there like five or six o'clock sometimes we have them by seven but usually five or six o'clock they're on, but every Friday we sell them so definitely come down and try us out for that on Fridays for sure. Wow. I love that business model. Yes, I love yes. you're getting okay. the best ingredients, you're cooking them slow and the way they should be cooked yes. and if they sell out, they sell yes, out, you know? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> if you want it, you come to yes, me. Yeah, exactly. No, for sure, for sure, for sure. <laughs> What's the rest of your menu like now? Yeah, so our number one seller besides like our oxtails and stuff like that that's not a special would be our fried catfish. So mm. a lot of people get our fried catfish with mac and cheese and collard greens and it does come with cornbread as well. And then after that, would be like our country fried steak or our chicken fried chicken. One's a beef patty, one's a chicken patty. We have a homemade gravy that goes on top as well. Get it with mashed potatoes or a piece of cornbread. It's delicious. So those are pretty much like our top sellers right there. We do do like fried chicken as well. That's starting to get like on the menu and a lot of people are starting to order that too as well. So definitely come check us out for sure. Oh my God, I'm pregnant right now and you're making me <laughs> yes, drool. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so excited. What's your favorite dish? Yeah. Uh, for sure it would be the fried catfish with collard greens and I would say definitely our red beans and rice. That's probably what I eat all the time. I for love sure. red beans yes, and no, rice. That's definitely my favorite go-to or the oxtails for sure. Yes. Oh, okay. It sounds so good. Yeah. Like, like I said, like a cop is like, Oxtails. He better be bringing yes. the oxtails. Yes. We need more oxtails. Yes. Like, all right, I'm yes. very excited for this yes. now. So yeah, how's so how's the business been going for the past few years? Like, yeah, how's sure. the future look for you now? Yeah, so far it's been pretty good. So far, yeah, we've been getting a lot of new customers, even from like outside of Topeka and stuff like that. That's been coming in and stuff like that. So that's that's definitely a promising thing. Um, for the future and stuff like that, we plan on getting a bigger building so we can have more sit down stuff like that and have more volume of food getting out to people and stuff like that as well. In a small building, we can't get that much of a volume of food out, mm -hmm. but. As as we get bigger and bigger, we can start doing that with more employees and stuff like that. So that's the future. So definitely keep in touch, keep in touch with us because we're gonna keep getting bigger and bigger and help you guys out for sure and get some good food. That's oh, amazing. Yes. Yes. You know, what's the best way for them to follow you? Kind of keep up with the menus, keep up with everything. For sure, yeah. Definitely take a look on uh, Facebook. Um, it should be 785 Kitchen on Facebook. We do have a Twitter. We do have an Instagram. And if you just type us in on Google as well, or pop up our stuff like a website and our pictures and everything like that too as well. So definitely pretty much on every social media you can find us at as well, even on Yelp and stuff like that too as well. So look at the reviews. You know, the reviews speak for themselves. You know, we got a lot of good reviews, so definitely come check us out. 
Okay. I've, I've heard nothing we but will. good things. Yes. <laughs> I, need to, I need to start eating out more. <laughs> what can you do? Yes. Well, Lavelle, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you for bringing some no lovely problem. oxtails no with you no today. Problem. I mean, it smells so good. I wish we had smell of vision right yeah. now. <laughs> yes, yes. And of course, everybody, please follow them on uh, across social media, Facebooks. Also follow them to 785kitchen.com, right? Yes, yes. 785kitchen.com. Yes. Please and thank you. <laughs>